Welcome to another edition of Zach's Rank Buy. I am Brian Bolin, and I am the aggressive growth stock strategist here at Zach's, and I got two more stocks for your aggressive growth radar screen. Now, a lot of you say that I am not a fashion icon, and you're right. Uh, you can probably see this, the same shirt that I wore before, but it's a different jacket, so I switched it up. So I don't know much about fashion, but I do know that I'm seeing a lot of these sneakers uh, around, and, and they've been around for a while, and it's not like it's anything new, but uh, the company is on holdings, and maybe you've seen these little ONs on on people's shoes. On holdings, O-N, O-N, that's the ticker. It's the Zach's rank number one. That's a strong buy. A for growth, F for value. I don't need to tell you that growth divergence is just what we're looking for. Shoot down here to the chart. I can see a beat right here. That's the arrow. After that, a nice post -er earnings drift higher, a little fade, and a little comeback. Uh, we're looking at a $25 billion company. This is no small potatoes. Uh, they're selling a lot of shoes, apparently. Uh, so it's on holy. So let's look at the numbers that we always look at. And we go miss, beat, miss, beat. But uh, the misses, this miss is bigger than this beat and same vice versa over there. So 12% average surprise. So it's kind of perky jerky, uh, beat one, miss one, beat one, miss one. But what's going on with earnings estimates? Because that's more important to the Zach's rank. So we move from 18 cents to 19 cents. That's a penny for this quarter. 23 cents we're holding still. Full year this year, 95 cents we're holding still. Next year we're going 109 to 110 and you think boy just a couple pennies moves that gives you the uh zach's rank number one well i guess so a lot of uh, a lot of the downshifting going on economy apparently all right top line growth 28.4 percent this year 26 percent next year the company is growing we're going to go from 2.56 billion to 3.23 billion in top line sales that only means something if your margins are expanding. And let's just shoot right there. I can see margins expanding. That looks like 4 to 6.5. So NA, whatever NA was. Too bad we don't have that number. That would probably be good. But you're paying up for this growth. You're paying 42 times forward earnings. That's a lot based on a 28% top line growth rate. But that's great. Price to book. The value investors hate this. 18 times on something like shoes uh 11.8 on price to sales but again margins up sales up earnings gonna be up so you know i guess you're paying a lot company uh, came public somewhere over here tech rec of 22 this stock as an ipo didn't do so well uh it has been moving on a nice move nice uh, you know trend higher we'll call it we look at the lines in between the years, I can see they're bigger and bigger. And the bigger the lines, the more the earnings growth. So keep that earnings growth up and that stock is going to continue to move higher. It's O-N, O-N, on holding. All right, on to the next one. I think this is why everyone's here. It's a Vertiv. Uh, Vertiv is the name. V-R-T is the ticker. This stock was my top stock pick of the week. It happens to be the bull of the day. That's the bull, B-U-L-L, -L, bull of the day today. It's a Zach's rank number one. It's a strong buy. It's a B for growth. It's a D for value. And you would think with all this exposure that something good would, would happen. And let's just say that it did. It, right now, it's down 7%, $5.53. Uh, that is time to, to add to your portfolio. I believe this is a, a company who's over a hundred bucks uh, a month and a half ago and straight down uh on what is going to be called a good earnings report by me but let's let's go through the rest of it as we always do then we'll get to my my focus stuff all right beat 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 uh 52 to 56 down 43 this must be sequentially weak back up to 67 so earnings on an absolute basis look good they're beating the estimate by an average of 13%. Where are estimates going, you ask? And I say they're moving up from 65 cents up to 70 cents, from 76 next quarter to 77, 242 to 258, 313 to 331. Estimates are moving higher. Sales are moving higher. Look at this. How about that? We've got 12.77% top line growth expected for this year. That's 7.74 billion. 
then move it up to 8.74 billion. That, that's a one billion dollar increase for 12.8 percent. So we're going to call that an acceleration. As slight as it is, it is still an acceleration. All right, here's uh, where the rubber hits the road. We've got a 30 times earnings multiple. We've got a 21 times price to book. That's actually kind of low for these things because they're asset thin. Uh, four times sales, also pretty low. And here's here's where your rubber meets the road. Nine point, we'll call it 10% to 11% to 11.5% margin. Margins are moving up. There's growth. There's going to be earnings growth. Everyone was worried about this recent quarter. And let's let's do the chart thing first. Uh, we're all going to die in the pandemic and we're not, and there's QE unlimited basically, then there's a tech wreck and then it's the AI boom and it's off to the races. Uh, and now our pullback here, what's going to happen next to everyone wonders. Everyone's uh, selling this stock because uh, the guidance in the quarter was, was aimed down dramatically. Let's go take a look at what they talked about. This is directly from the Vertiv website. It's customer demand. Uh, you know, book to bill comes in at 1.4 times. Uh, so we've got lots of bookings. Uh, we're up 11% first at the end of the first quarter. So the anticipate 10 to 15% growth in orders from the third quarter. Uh, and that's down from previous levels. And they said as high as 60, maybe some people were expecting 60, but you're still going to be up 30 to 35% year over year. Uh, there's still growth here. But everyone acts as though this stock is dead and left for dead. And that's it. It's over. Uh, the AI boom is going to continue. There's lots more to come. This stock is a strong buy right now. It has dipped significantly. Time to take a deeper look at it. So those are your two aggressive growth stock picks for this week. Be sure to join me next week when I've got two more names for your aggressive growth radar screen. Until then, why don't you go to zax.com slash promo to check out all of our latest promotions.